Oaks, Pastor Guy here, Country Cowboy Church Gathering. It's Friday, and I'm here. I'm getting better from that COVID stuff. Thank God. Makes me happy to be up walking again. You know, sometimes you got to kind of feel bad to know how good it feels just to feel good, just to get up and do the things you want. And I'm starting to get my strength back. I've been outside getting some vitamin D, doing a little bit of yard work. But God's been good. I got a little song here I just want to share because His handiwork is awesome. And the stars His handiwork I see On the wind He speaks with majesty Though He ruleth over land and sea What is that to me? I will celebrate nativity for it has a place in history. Tree came to set his people free. What is that to me? Till by faith I met him face to face. I felt the wonder of his grace. And I knew that he was more than just a God who didn't care. Who lived way up there and now he walks beside me day by day, ever watching o'er me lest I stray, helping me to find that never way. He's everything to me. To my faith I met him face to face, and I felt the wonder of his grace. Then I knew that he was more than just the God who didn't care lived way up there and now he walks beside me day by day ever watching on me lest I stray helping me to find that never way he's everything to me he's everything to me he's everything to me Oh, yes, he is. I tell you, I was down and out for several days. And all I could do is say, God, this one's on you. We've got to get through this to the other side. I want to give him all thanks and praise. And if you're feeling bad, give it over to God. Let him take care of you. He does a pretty good job of it. Amen? Amen. Hey, I want to show you something. I was telling you that I got to spend a some time outside, been pulling some of the weeds, and getting some of the things taken care of in my yard, as I needed to slowly start getting my strength back. You know, you can't just jump right into something sometimes when your body has been ill for a while, and you get really weak, and you haven't been up walking around, and your muscles start to atrophy, but it sure felt good the last few days going out and spending just a little bit of time getting my fingers in the dirt and pulling some weeds and manicuring in the backyard and getting ready to get my, my garden planted. So I got all the things I need. I just got to finish the project. So I'm sure we all got projects that we need to get busy with. Take the time to do it just a little at a time and pretty soon it'll all be done. But I got a parable I want to share with you. So if you turn to Luke, let's go to the eighth chapter. And I'm going to start at uh, 8th chapter, chapter 4. And when a great multitude had gathered and they had come to him from every city, he spoke by a parable. And Jesus loves to use parables. It makes you think a little bit. Think over this one. A sower went out to sow his seed. And he sowed. Some fell by the wayside. It was trampled down. And the birds of the air devoured it. Some fell on rock. And as soon as it sprang up, it withered away because it lacked moisture. And so a man <clears throat> fell among the thorns. And the thorns sprang up and choked it. But others fell on good ground. Sprang up and yielded a crop of a hundredfold. When he had said these things, he cried, He who has ears to hear, let 
him here. It's kind of Jesus' way of saying, hey, you paid attention? Did you just hear what I said? Then his disciples asked him, saying, well, what does this parable mean? And he said, to you it has been given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God, but to the rest it is given in parables. That, seeing, they may not see. And hearing, they may not hear. Now the parable is this. The seed is the word of God. Those by the wayside are the ones who hear. And when the devil comes and takes away the word out of their hearts, least they should believe and be saved. But the ones on the rock are those who, when they hear, receive the word with joy. And these have no root, who believe for a while and in time of temptations fall away. Now the ones that fell among the thorns are those who, when they have heard, go out and are choked up with cares, riches, pleasures of life, and bring no food to maturity. But the ones that fell on the good ground are those who, having heard the word with a noble and good heart, keep it and bear fruit with patience. You ever do a garden? You get the roots and stuff and the weeds out and put a little seed in there and then you wait. And you wait. And you wait. And it springs up a little bit, but you wait and you wait. He says, so when you plant your garden, be patient. When you fill yourself with God's work, be patient. Let these things blossom. Let them take root with inside you. No one who he has a little lamp, covers it up with a vessel or puts it under a bed, but sets it on the lampstand. And those who enter may see the light. For nothing is secret that will not be revealed, nor anything hidden that will not be known and come to light. Therefore, take heed how you hear. For whoever has to him more will be given. And whoever does not have, even what he seems to have, will be taken from them. Let God's light shine in you so others can see. So basically what he's telling you is here, have you heard me? Are you falling into the good soil? Are you being patient so that soil and that seed within that good soil can get good strong roots, get the nourishment that it needs so it can grow and blossom so that everybody can see it? And then you want to put a light on it so everybody can see that too. Let Jesus be that light inside of you. Let him grow patiently in you. By reading the Bible. By asking the Holy Spirit, what does this mean for me? There's a special message in here just for you. Are you patient enough to find it? It's there all over. And you're going to get, it's like fertilizer. And every time you read a little bit more, it's going to nourish that plant that's inside you. It's going to get your roots deeper and stronger. So that you know when the time comes that Jesus, through the Holy Spirit, will give you just the right words to share his love. It's all in his kingdom. I'm praying that you're going to have your seed fall on good soil. And may that soil be enriched by Jesus Christ. Because he loves you. He wants to be in your beautiful garden and help you grow. Amen. Amen. Well, I have a little bit more energy this week than last week. Next week will be even better. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, 
but now how he found was blind. But now I see. Twas grace that taught my heart to fear, and grace my fears relieved. How precious did that grace appear, the hour I first believed. I have already come. His grace hath brought me safe thus far, and grace will lead me home. When we've been there ten thousand years, Bright shining as the sun, we've no less days to sing God's praise than when we first begun. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. Saved a wretch like me. Once was lost, oh, but now am found. Was blind, but now I see. Lord, I was blind, but now I see. I hope you got your eyes open to see the Lord and what he's doing for you. How much he loves you. He wants to be your special friend. He wants to be your Lord and Savior. He wants to let you know that he has prepared a special place for you in heaven for all eternity. And I hope you're praying that you're with him. I think I'm going to do some praying right now. I hope you pray with me. Till the answer comes, you got to keep praying. Keep praying. Oh, I'll keep praying. Till the answer comes, you got to keep praying. Keep praying till the answer comes. And if you knock one time, there's no answer. Well, don't turn away from the door. Get to knock again till you've been there. Sometimes it only takes one slow Till the answer comes You gotta keep praying Keep praying Oh, I'll keep praying Till the answer comes You gotta keep praying Keep praying till the answer comes Now sometimes you might be on your knees for hours Before the light finally breaks through the dark But if you truly believe Thanks for being here. Thank God I'm getting stronger.
If there's something going on in your life, I'm going to be praying that God has an intervention with you. May his light so shine upon you. He loves you. Turn yourself over for him and let him take care of your business. Amen? Amen. Hey, until next time, remember, I love you. Jesus loves you a whole lot more. I know next week I'll feel even better. I can't wait until we're together again. God bless you all now. Take care.